And now, we're live from the red carpet at the 2018 WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the most esteemed night in WWE, a night where we honor the accomplishments of legends of the past while celebrating their impending title of Hall of Famer. And of course, before the WWE Hall of Fame, it all begins right here on the red carpet. This is where WrestleMania week officially begins, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Byron Saxon, but I can't do this alone. So I welcome my lovely co-host. She is an Emmy award-winning journalist, a New York Times best-selling author, and the host of Sirius XM's Conversations with Maria, the lovely. Whew. Maria Menounos. <laughs> Hi. Out. How are you? I'm great. I'm back with you. Yeah, this is like our third year in a row. Hey, now. So how pumped are you for tonight? I'm so pumped. You know I get really I know giddy. You, are. you know I love being here. It's my favorite weekend of the year. And See, Maria was actually calling herself a Dudley girl. I was, on. and I saw them backstage. I got <laughs> pictures with them just before, and then I saw Jimmy Hart's megaphone, so I had to uh, Instagram that moment, so, too. So we'll get to that, but yeah. we got to get moving quickly to our Let's first go. guest. Our broadcast colleague, Renee Young, is standing by. Let's find out who she's with. Hey guys, I am so excited to be here at WWE Hall of Fame. Another year, get to hang out here on the red carpet. And right now I've got a, a familiar face I actually haven't seen in some time. Mr. Samoa Joe, how you doing? I'm great, how about yourself? Good, what have you been doing? We haven't seen you in a little bit. What have you been doing uh, in the meantime? Well, I've, I've run into a little bit of injury trouble. Of course, I'm recovering, but it's, it's good to be here tonight. I mean, it's a fantastic night. Everybody's out, I have a date. Oh, I heard I heard your date couldn't make it. That's really unfortunate. But uh, you okay. know, overall, it's uh, it's it's you know, this is a very very important part of what we do is to honor uh, uh, some of our some of our uh, our brotherhood who have uh, and sisterhood who have uh, ascended to great heights. And uh, to be here tonight to honor them is a really big deal. And I'm very happy to be here. Is there anyone in particular that you're looking to uh, be inducted tonight? Uh, actually, uh, multiple people tonight. Uh, Jeff Jarrett, Mark Henry, uh, the Dudley Boys. These are all men that I've come to know and and, and to respect and to. Uh, see them honored here tonight and for me to be in be in this presence of everybody here to honor them that's that's a big deal to me excellent well i will uh, be sure to send your best along and enjoy the evening tonight Absolutely. joe you too. You we're too. gonna head on down to the red carpet on uh, the other end there charlie caruso hey thanks renee wow what a crowd this is the energy is already so great here at the hall of fame i am so excited to be here on the red carpet especially with these guys as my first interview you know them they're the new day guys how you feeling tonight Fantastic, but I just want to rewind that because we're not just the New Day. We are, ya yeah boys, the New Day. Uh. All right, first and foremost, we got to address these get-ups. They are sharp. Okay. Tell me about them. Yes. yes. Well, these obviously uh, very much inspired by some old-school looks, and we just wanted to bring it back because look, check, look, 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 look at these. Give them, give them a spin, just so clean. Not something you see every single day, and the New Day wants to bring you that new, new, that clean, clean, and that's what we do times three every time. All right, and speaking of bringing that new new on Sunday, you guys have a big match. All right, looking to reclaim those tag team titles. Tell me how you're feeling right now, just a few days ahead of WrestleMania. Good. All right, solid. How you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. You know, we got a lot of confidence. We've been on this stage before, you know. Last year we were the hosts of WrestleMania. Here now we're on the grandest stage of them all. We're about to do what we do. You know, uh, we will become the five-time tag team champions. You understand what I'm saying? Charlie five. We know. We've been there before. Five. five. You know? I, 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 I totally get what you're saying, but you do have to get into the ring with the Bludgeon Brothers. I mean, that is a tall task and something that a lot of people would call scary. But the thing is, if we were scared, then we wouldn't have signed the contracts to be WWE superstars. Your boys got courage. Your boys got heart. And just like Kofi said, regardless of the odds, regardless of the Usos, regardless of the Bludgeon Brothers, New Day will become your five-time WWE World Tag Team Champions. Woo! All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy your evening tonight and the best of luck to you on Sunday. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. All right. Let's throw things back to Byron and Maria. I'm always mesmerized by the hips. They just they somehow get me. Somehow you have to top it. <laughs> anyway, well, we're going to top it because we have the reigning Raw Women's Champion who has a pretty busy weekend. Uh, yes. Alexa Bliss, how are you doing? I am fantastic. How are you? I am excellent. And this is only your second Hall of Fame. Yes, uh, last year was my first Hall of Fame, and I brought my mother, and this year, she's with me again this year, nice. so it's a lot of fun, so, a new tradition. And you're running on caffeine, they got you so busy here, huh? Yes, caffeine and concealer is, <laughs> is what I always say. I love it. Are you ready for your match at Mania? I am, I'm very excited, I am so, I'm so ready to have Sunday come here, and I'm just 
Ah, I'm pumped. So, uh, you know, I want to lay it straight here. I mean, you say you're excited, but you are taking on your former best friend, one of the most feared women we've ever seen here in mm -hmm. WWE, and Nia Jax. Yes, that is correct. My former BFF. And are you confident about this? So here's the thing. When you're facing your best friend or former best friend, obviously there is, you know, a height difference and a strength difference between Nia Jax and I. So I have to have a different approach. If I cannot, you know, beat her down physically, I have to do it mentally because we are best friends. Smart. And I know I know her weaknesses. I was just going to say, yeah. you got to know her weaknesses. Well, okay, so but, can you share? What are weaknesses? Oh, like, ah, I got to use that for the are match. Are the shins an issue? <laughs> what, what is it? But, but, but hold on. I want to take a step back here. And I, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Was Nia really ever your best friend? Or was it just a ruse all along? How dare you, Byron? Everything I've ever Ooh. said is from the bottom of my heart. And with that. I'm not trying to get on her bad side. I'm good just... luck on Sunday. We're going to throw it over to Renee. <laughs> hey, guys. I am here with <laughs> Bailey and her fiance, Aaron. How are you guys doing? Weird. Very good, very excited, yeah. So for you, obviously we know you're a lifelong fan of WWE. It's your second time here at the WWE Hall of Fame. What does it mean for you to be here and get to see these people that you grew up watching going into the Hall of Fame? It's, it's, these are really cool. Like, it, it's just nice to pay tribute to everybody that kind of paved the way for us. And it's on Rusev Day, so that's cool. <laughs> But Always receptive. I'm excited for Ivory. She was one of my idols growing up, and I got to meet her when I was a kid, so this is a very special night for me, too, as a fan. So. Now, as we look forward to this Sunday at WrestleMania, the first ever uh, women's WrestleMania Battle Royal, how you feel about the kind of the anticipation leading up to that? Well, luckily, we got some practice with the Royal Rumble, you know, so now I have a little bit of a better strategy going into it. I, uh, I intend to last a little bit longer than I did and not be thrown out by, you know, my best friend or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I, I have a good strategy this time, and I would love to make history being the winner of the first ever women's WrestleMania Battle Royal. I think that there's a lot of people that would definitely like to see that. I hope so. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys and enjoy the rest of the evening. Enjoy WrestleMania. Best of luck. And now we're going to take things back up to Byron and Maria. Thank Renee's looking very beautiful. Much, you Renee. look handsome, you know by the way. Oh, don't just you stop know, it. Just how to say. Well, listen, we've got plenty more to come, yeah. plenty more interviews, plenty more guests. We bring it to you all live right here on the WWE Hall of Fame Red Carpet Show. Tonight. A very special night being recognized as one of the best. Witness. Hall of Fame. I can't get any better than this. Who's in? That's the five. Small town boy turned proud. Ain't I great? And who's next? Everybody that's been put in front of me, I've destroyed. Goldberg has climbed to the top of the most elite mountain. Streaming live tonight only on WWE Network. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you were looking at the calm before the WWE Hall of Fame storm because this is the Red Carpet Show. We are talking to WWE superstars, past and present, getting a feel for what's to come here tonight. And speaking of getting a feel for what's to come here tonight, we sent things over to our broadcast colleague, Charlie Caruso, with a very special guest. Oh, two very special guests. We have Jimmy Uso and Naomi. Both of you, I, I cannot with your dress. Your eyeshadow matches your dress, and you look phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. I found this um, eyeshadow in the store, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that'll match my dress perfect. You look like a, a really pretty fish, if, if that comes across the right way. <laughs> well, a, a thank mermaid. You. I was trying to channel my inner Ariel. Mermaid. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to the red carpet, the Hall of Fame. This is an event all of us look forward to each and every year. Tell me, who are you most excited about seeing inducted tonight? I'm super excited to see Devon. Okay, and you yourself? Dudleys. I'm with the Dudleys, you know, because I was in the ring with them. I grew up watching them, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm a big tag team fan, and I'm a big tag team of the Dudley boys, so uh, that's what I'm ready to see. <laughs> Well, speaking of tag teams, you have a big match on Sunday. Wanting to retain those tag team titles, you're up against two very strong teams in the New Day and the Bludgeon Brothers. How are you feeling ahead of that match? Man, right now I feel good. I'm really nervous going up in there, but I feel good. So we'll see you till Sunday. Two more days, right? Two more days. Two more days. All right, so still some time to prepare. And Naomi, you yourself, a big moment for you as a woman, a part of this big WWE Women's Evolution, the first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. How excited are you to be a part of such a big thing like that? I'm super excited and I'm super proud of all of us women and um, still 
excited to make history and be the first to do things and just be a part of such an amazing group of women and on both rosters. It's, it's really awesome and it's a great time to be a woman in this business right now and uh, I just plan on kicking butt on Sunday. And I'm sure it feels good to be back in the Big Easy. Always. Say what, girl? After I this, love I'm about to go stop by Burma Street, girl. I'm going to get my little party on just a little ah, bit. Not too. No, you're not. Okay, well, then we're going not. straight to the room yes, after this, are. then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. Enjoy your evening. Best of luck to both of you on Sunday. Now, let's send things back over to Byron and Maria. Well, from one husband and wife team to another, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially Rusev Day on the red carpet. <laughs> Correction, it's Ravishing Rusev Day because the Ravishing One is here. Ah. I was like, when they showed up, I go, best dressed couple alert. <laughs> that is right. Look at this. I made it myself. By that, I mean I picked it myself. Oh, I was going to say. That's good enough, right? Yeah. Who was the pick mine? He picked it? Yeah. It That's what you I got do. good taste. Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm a very high fashionate designer. From I, time I'm to actually time. very impressed. Can you get me one of these? <laughs> Why are you rubbing my back? Like, Sorry, I just get that way when I see stuff I like. <laughs> hey, but listen, obviously, a uh, big weekend for you, WrestleMania, an opportunity to regain the United States Championship. Are you, are you feeling nervous jitters? Are you confident? What's going on? No nervous. It was, it's all going to come full circle after three years after I lost to Cena. Finally, it's coming. It's coming to an end. I'm going to win that championship that I lost three years ago. What's your strategy? No strategy. I beat everybody in that match except Bob Roode, but Uncle Bob never been to WrestleMania, so I have an advantage over that as well. There you go. Uncle Bob. How are you feeling? I plan on winning the Battle Royal and being the first ever ravishing winner. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I have I have a big, um, big, big, big plan, and I have a big strategy, and you everyone, Rusev, and right. so I mean I just I have been I, I've come up with this great plan. So I'm going to win, okay. and the whole world is going to understand why Lana is the best. Lana, Lana number, number one. one. Lana, Lana is the best. Lana, Lana number, number one. one. Ah, ah. Lana, Lana is the best. Lana, Lana number one. one. Ah, ah. As, has a ring to it. I like it. As we say, Lana's number one. So is Renee. Renee, who you got? Hey, I'm down here with. We can officially call you the voice of WWE now, right? Or is that still Michael Cole? What is it? I think it? it's still Michael Cole officially. Okay, officially. Uh, and the unofficial voice of WWE. The unofficial voice, and this is the unofficial voice's wife, Amy. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? You look like a million bucks. First oh, thank of all, thank you. So do you. Looking good. <laughs> now for you, WrestleMania, huge event, obviously. But how do you prepare to get through seven hours? of talking. I stopped drinking liquid altogether as okay. of about four hours ago. Okay, so okay. I figure by two days from now, I will be nice and dried out and um, <laughs> I'll be withered at, at the ringside. You're like but, Mr. Burns. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to look exactly like Mr. Burns. <laughs> but if it's going to make me get through seven hours without having to do anything outrageous, um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, in which match are you looking most forward to calling this Sunday? Uh, I'm so excited for so many different things. I'm looking forward to Ronda Rousey's in-ring debut. That's going to be awesome. I've always been a big fan of hers. But personally, I cannot wait for AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. I think they're going to tear the house down. I think that might be the match from this year that people are talking about for generations to come. Couldn't agree with you more. Enjoy the night, guys. Uh, and we're going to move on downwards to Charlie Cruz to see what else is going down here on the red carpet. Hey, the what's WWE going on on the red carpet? Joined now by Matt Hardy and Rebecca. Guys, what an event this is. Every year, such a spectacular event. What are you most excited about tonight at the Hall of Fame? Uh, I mean, I've got to be very honest. Uh, I am most excited about the Dudley Boys going into the Hall of Fame. Obviously, they're being inducted by Edge and Christian. And those two teams, along with myself and Brother Nero, my brother, we will always be linked because we uh, created so many magical and uh, amazing moments together. Anything that you're expecting them to bring up or say in their induction speech tonight? Uh, yes, just uh, how we're all insane and uh, how it's amazing we can all still walk. Okay, now I know you have to have some good stories with them. Give me your best one. I don't care how embarrassing or awkward it is. Uh, my best story, I think, would be with Edge and Christian, and uh, along with Michael Hayes and Gangrel when we were all working against one another. We ate in an outback in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Gangrel and Michael P.S. Hayes, who were the uh, captains of the team, so to say, got in such a big argument, they went out on the edge of a cliff, and they had a headbutt contest until one of them fell off the cliff. Wait, what? Yes, this is a true story. It was actually depicted on the Edge and Christian show last year. 
All right. Well, that, I, you might have the best story of the night. I'll let you know at the end, at end of things, though. It's certainly the most outlandish. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your evening, both of you, and enjoy Sunday at WrestleMania. All right, guys, time to once again throw things over to Byron and Maria. All right, I feel like we're the lucky ones because we have the reigning WWE champion and one half of the dream match equation at WrestleMania, mm -hmm. AJ Styles. It's going to be a good one, man, and we're excited. And AJ, of course, you have your lovely, lovely wife, Wendy, yes, here. Mm -hmm. what, what does, when you, when you enter the Hall of Fame and when you see all the pageantry all the, and all the celebratory atmosphere, what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, this is where we get to dress up and bring our wives and have a good time with fans. And uh, yeah, it's, just, it's a special time for everybody. Are you looking forward for anybody today? I am looking forward to seeing uh, Jeff Jarrett get inducted. All right, yeah, nice well, I mean, that's, that's a good one, right? I mean, Jeff Jarrett, and, you know, my family, his family go way back. So, yeah, it's very special for us and him, obviously. So let's talk about the match that everyone's anticipating, you and Shinsuke Nakamura. And we know when it comes to WrestleMania, we see a lot of fans from all over the world. What kind of excitement have you personally seen from our fan base regarding this match? Best fans in the world, no doubt, right? I mean, they're from all over the world, so obviously they're the best. But uh, they're looking forward to this match just as much as Shinsuke and myself are. So it's time to put on a show. You know, um, it's going to be a match that most people won't forget. Counting on it. <laughs> so, as a super fan, <laughs> I mean, I'm do. counting on it. <laughs> what, what is it like, man? I mean, you've been there at WrestleMania. Just, just the energy. Uh, you know, what what goes through your mind? Is it still nerve wracking to you being on the eve of WrestleMania? Well, a little bit, obviously. Then I mean, this is WrestleMania. So, um, but as, as it comes to a point where you're like, all right, I'm ready. Let's get it over with. Let's get it on. Like, and then you can enjoy it the, the next day. But it's it's got time to go to work, you know. And how cool is it to think? I mean, you're a part of a very select group of WWE champions to defend their title at WrestleMania. Wow, I, I didn't know that, but uh, that's that's awesome. You know, I, I didn't know that this is a very select group that to be able to do that. That means a lot. I mean, there's another name in the record books for me. You know, there's a number, not a number of things that I've done, but one or two that I've been in there. So this is special. Well, AJ, I wish you the absolute best of luck Thank at you. WrestleMania. Enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy tonight. Absolutely. Date night. Enjoy, guys. All and right, we're going to head over to Renee, right? Yeah, Renee, who are you with? Are the women, women joining me now. One has your very first championship matchup coming up at WrestleMania. Grandest stage, also joined here by your aunt and also the Rock's mom, Ada. Thank you for joining us tonight. Naya, how are you feeling going into WrestleMania? Uh, to, to head into this giant matchup, probably one of the most emotionally charged matches that we're going to see. Yes, I, well, I'm extremely nervous and um, I'm ready. I'm, I, you know, I'm excited for this match. I feel like it, the time has come for all, all of what's been happening happening to come to the pinnacle for to the fight for the fight to come on how proud are you of everything you've been able to see your niece conquer really, really proud of her and how far she's come and I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow now, now tonight who are you guys excited to see be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame well I, Ivory of course but I'm also really excited to see Mark Henry to be inducted oh, as well me yeah I love myself some Mark Henry so do you think that we might see some shades of sexual chocolate tonight Ooh, fingers crossed I'm hoping. I I, like, you look amazing, by the way. Oh, Can we get a full length of this? Soak it all in. I have this train, and everybody wants to step on it. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, it's awesome. You know, it's <laughs> it's the thing we have to go through because we're women. But It's a thing I that we do. It. I love the Hall of Fame. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the red carpet and Hall of Fame tonight, and best of luck to you this Sunday at WrestleMania. Well. Thank you. Stick with us here for the WWE Hall of Fame red carpet as we roll on. We've got plenty more to come right after this. The moment you thought would never happen. I am here. What? The rumors are true! Ronda Rousey is here! Triple H and Stephanie, they couldn't wait to have you here because they wanted to manipulate you. Ronda now reports to me that I am no one's property. I get to choose my opponent for WrestleMania. You. WrestleMania. It's going to be Triple H and Stephanie McMahon versus Ronda Rousey and me! The moment you thought would never happen.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are just about 40 minutes away from the WWE Hall of Fame, but we are coming to you live on the red carpet, talking to superstars past and present as we prepare for the WWE Hall of Fame. And speaking of the WWE Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all gonna come down to. The class of 2018, the names like Double J, Jeff Jarrett, the Dudley Boys, Hillbilly Jim, Jarius Robertson, Ivory, Kid Rock, Mark Henry, and of course, Goldberg. So a lot of anticipation in the air here tonight. And well, speaking of Hall of Fame, how about talking Talking to a Hall of Famer who is standing by with Renee Young. <laughs> we do have a WWE Hall of Famer here. Please welcome on Lita. Good to see you. I know. These things are insane and crazy, and there's like ships passing in the night. Yep. But I had to stop at the ship. <laughs> we stopped at the ship. We docked at the ship. We pulled it in. Uh, it's hard to get together during this week because it's such a crazy week. All of WrestleMania. What have you been up to? If you don't mind, we're just going to have a catch up. Yeah, so it's cool, right? Yeah, so I got it on Thursday. How about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay. Uh, we're here, Hall of Fame. You're a WWE Hall of Famer. What does it mean for you to be able to sit back here in the seat and see these people make their own bit of history? I, I love Hall of Fame, honestly. You know, not only seeing everybody go in, but everybody, how they're so excited. And, and I mean, what, looking at everybody's fantastic do dresses. It. Do, it. <laughs> do it big, do it big. So it's like a fun, kind of lighthearted night that everybody gets to have before the, like, seriousness of mania. Um, and who are you looking forward to seeing going in tonight? I, the Ivory's going in. I love that, that, you know, we got to see Glow and kind of have the come up with the with the show that was on there. And, and um, you know, she she earns it for sure. So I'm happy to see her go in there. And she's got great sh stories. <laughs> she seems like she would have great stories. Hold on to your butts, guys. <laughs> you heard it here first. Butts, get ready to be held on to. We're going to head back on up to uh, Byron and Maria. Look who's here. <laughs> hey, Jeff Hardy, man, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I'm clear to wrestle, so I'm just waiting for the appropriate idea to get started, you know? So A run in at Mania? I yeah, mean, well, you never know. that could be appropriate. Sure, of course. <laughs> yeah. So we were talking, and you said it was, uh, you haven't been to a Hall of Fame ceremony since 2009? 2009, yeah, it's been a while, so I'm kind of nervous just being here again, but it, a good kind of nervous, so I'm excited. Who are you excited to see tonight? Ah, uh, for sure, uh, the Dudley boys, you know, because we have a huge history with the TLC matches, and uh, I'm so blessed that I was a part of all that and the creativity that went into all those matches, and uh, they're immortal, and so it's good to be here for the Dudleys, and I'm looking forward to Jeff Jarrett as well. So uh, on the topic of creativity, I got to ask you, man, the ultimate deletion that we saw a couple weeks ago, like, it, it, we've never seen anything like that on WWE programming. I know, and uh, hopefully you will again, because I was out there that night, and I was so envious that I wasn't a part of it, you know, and it was super cold, they were super tough, and I was like, okay, this is a good start. Uh, there's going to be another one, and, and I have to be involved, to do a swanton out of a tree or something, you know, that, that I can't wait to actually see on WWE television. Very cool. So, uh, no stranger to WrestleMania, no stranger to the atmosphere of WrestleMania. Do you, I would suspect, you know, a lot of our younger superstars maybe come to you for advice, uh, you know, on how to deal with the hype around Mania. What do you tell them? Uh, I don't know, just uh, in a way, I was talking to uh, the young guys that are with uh, Jinder Mahal, you know, the tag team, so they grew up watching us, you know, the Hardy Boys and their brothers. So, uh, and naturally, they do some pretty uh, insane bumping as well, like falling off huge cages or whatever. And I was like, you know, kind of let the, the fear be a part of the fun to a certain extent. You know, don't get too crazy. But that's what's so special about those moments is when you are able to get up from it and everybody in the building is super thrilled and satisfied with your performance and, uh, and just live every moment and wrestle every match like it's your last. Was there ever a moment you were like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's too crazy. Uh, yeah, there, there was one. Uh, it was the big swanton uh, to Randy Orton years ago, back around 08, 09, something like that. And I was like, again, it was up there. I was like, I, I'm crazy. I, I don't know if I can do this. But, uh, you know, I did it, and it went great. And, uh, again, the fear is part of the fun. Yeah, exactly. It's true. Fingers it's crossed. in that moment of, like, sink or swim where you really live. It's exciting. Yeah, for sure. And it comes from my, my motocross background is where that comes from, like doing these big jumps, building your own jump, conquering it and then moving on to the next obstacle. Whew, I'm Jeff, scared just forward. listening. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's why there's only one Jeff Hardy. Yeah, exactly. so thank you so much for joining yeah. us. We look forward to seeing you back in the ring. And for Mr. Hardy, we had to Miss Caruso. Charlie, who do you have? Right. 
Well, it is a family affair down here on the red carpet. I am joined by Carmela and her lovely sister, Brie. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. We're happy to be here. It's the Hall of Fame. It is the Hall of Fame, and you both look stunning tonight. As do you, Charlie. Thank you. So this is obviously a big night, a huge weekend, especially for you taking part in the first ever WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Tell me about how exciting that is for you. I mean, the women's evolution has come so far. There are so many women on this show in WrestleMania. You know, sometimes there would only be one match with two girls, and now almost every single woman on our roster is going to be a part of WrestleMania, and that's huge. Now, speaking of women, Ivory's being inducted tonight. How excited are you to see her going into the Hall of Fame? I think it's great. I actually saw her earlier today. She was wearing all leopard print, and I was like, Ivory, you're my girl. I was so excited about that. So I'm really excited to see her get inducted tonight. Anyone else that you are especially pumped up to see inducted in the Hall of Fame? Anyone that you have some special memories relating to growing up? Gosh, that's a really good question. I'm just really excited for tonight, and I'm really, really, really excited for Sunday, so I'm just happy to be here. And I'm happy to have my sister with me. I know, this is so great that you guys get to be I here know. together. I'm happy to see her. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. I know you've seen your sister go through so much in her career, and to be in this situation where she is, you know, the first ever Miss Money. Hold on, first of all, where is your briefcase? Okay, I didn't think it really went with the outfit, so I didn't wanna, I didn't Has wanna... it ever mattered before? No, it's true. It's true, but it's in the back, I have it. I have it with me, it's just not out here on the red carpet. Any chance uh, you might be cashing that sucker in on Sunday? Charlie, I, I can't reveal my plan. Charlotte, I saw her over there, so I can't let her. She's too close. I can't let her know the plan. All right, all right. I understand. We'll keep all of this situation under wraps. Right now, though, thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. Right now, let's throw things over to Renee Young and her guest. Hey, I'm here with Sonya Deville, part of Absolution. Now, I understand that you are a Hall of Fame rookie, yeah? Yeah, this is my first Hall of Fame, and I have to admit, I'm a little, like, overwhelmed right now. I'm kind of just, like, looking around, like, this is pretty cool. It's really crazy. You get to see everybody's all dressed up, and then you're already passing other Hall of Famers and the hallways. And you know, just with like the impact that you've been able to make here in WWE, what does it mean for you to be able to, to yeah, pass, share the hallways with these people? Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. I walk down and I see people like Lita that I worked with on Tough Enough when I first got the started. Good old days. Yeah, the good old days. So <laughs> glad they're over. No, but um, and I, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Uh, I wasn't held enough as a child. What are you guys up to? Isn't your interview? <laughs> Why not? Well, Renee said we could share the red carpet. If she has to go to the bathroom or anything, I take over. It's not exactly what I meant. Oh, aren't you done, though? Why don't you circle back around? I'm just started. Yeah. Really? Bye-bye. in the middle of it. Bye-bye. Why don't we? I'll catch you later. Yeah. I'll catch you later. Charlie's at the other end as well. Oh, my God. I, you're not Charlie? I'll be right back. Out Damn it, Ziggler. Out of control. Um, okay, so we've got Hall of Fame tonight. Yep. Who are you looking forward to seeing going in? Oh, I'm going to have to go with Goldberg. Yeah. I, he's just a favorite of mine. I always say, like, my dad kind of looks like Bo Goldberg. So, oh, does he? And he's staying at his same hotel. So we, like, pulled up to the valet, and, like, I was picking up my dad, and then Goldberg walked out, and I was like, wait, which one is my dad? I was You're not confused. my dad. You're not my dad. I don't know. No, but I love Goldberg. So, yeah. Top. Awesome. And how do you feel about the Women's Battle Royal at WrestleMania? It's incredible. I mean, to look at a WrestleMania card in 2018 and to see – a women's intergender match, two female singles matches, yeah. and a women's battle royal. It's like that has never been done before. That's four different matches featuring the women. It's just incredible. And this is your very first time being able to step out there and enjoy the whole thing. You a little nervous? Yeah, I think it's all going to be kind of surreal. I think it's going to hit me when, you know, the music hits and we're walking down that ridiculous runway, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I'm in awe, and I'm just like just so blessed to be here. Well, best of luck this Sunday, and we're going to head on back up there to Byron Saxton and Maria Menounos. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> please critique this, Bobby. Things are about to get glorious. <laughs> now, not too bad. Not bad. No, I mean, it needs a little work. But okay. I was right, wondering right. if you were going to be honest with honesty. him. <laughs> oh, of course, always with Byron. Of course, I'm always honest. Right? <laughs> but joining us here, Bobby Roode, his girlfriend, Deneen. Bobby, uh, incredible uh, weekend for you, obviously. Uh, this is your very first WrestleMania, mm -hmm. and you have a chance to regain the WWE United States Championship. Yeah, it's um, it's a pretty special weekend. You know, it's a special week, really. I mean, it's not just one night. It's, it's an entire week. Last year, I was a part of NXT TakeOver, of course, and, and got to see what kind of goes on WrestleMania weekend, and um, but to be a part of the big one. Um, and of course, getting an opportunity to, uh, you know, perform in front of 75,000 people uh, and for the United States Championship is, is definitely a WrestleMania moment that I don't want to let slip away. Nervous at all? Excited. 
you know, I mean, obviously you have those nerves as a, as, a, as a performer. You always have those nerves, those butterflies, but it's excitement. You know, this is a moment that I've been waiting for for almost two decades. You know, it's been, a, it's been quite a journey to get here, and it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. Just imagine this, 70,000 people in the Superdome, Sunday night, all in unison, chanting glorious. Yeah, it's going to be um, it's going to be pretty surreal, and uh, been waiting for this for a very long time. So I'm going to let you know. Obviously, the match is very important. Walking away with the United States Championship is very, very, very important. But um, you know, I got to just kind of let that moment kind of sink in and kind of smell the roses. It's my first WrestleMania, and you know what? Out of all the WrestleManias in the past, Byron, this one is it's going to be, be <laughs> absolutely <laughs> glorious. Yeah, is that better? better <laughs> yeah, put some more bass into it. Oh, yeah. man. We've got Renee with another Hall of Famer. We're going to throw it over to her right now. Thank you. Kurt. I do have another Hall of Famer here with me, Kurt Angle, along with his beautiful wife, Gianna. Thank you for being down here with me. How does it feel for you to be here to, to walk the red carpet, also with a giant match looming in the future? Uh, uh, I'm excited. Um, this is something I wanted for a long time. Uh, I know how it feels to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's very overwhelming. So. These guys and girls that are getting inducted tonight, they're, gonna, they're in for a, a big treat and they're going to enjoy it. What advice do you have for somebody walking out here to give a speech to an entire arena filled of their fans? Make it fun. Make it memorable. You know, do or say something that they relate to. You know, uh, when I did my speech last year, I, I did a lot of stuff that I did on the shows. And uh, I think that as long as they relate to the fans, they'll respond very well. Now with this Sunday, obviously a gigantic matchup with you teaming up with Ronda Rousey. What can we expect from her in-ring debut? Uh, I will tell you this, I can guarantee this. Uh, Ronda Rousey, this will be her first match ever in the WWE. She is really good. Uh, she has caught on so quickly. Uh, her training was epic and she's going to have a, an incredible show. I think I think a lot of people are going to, she's going to prove a lot of people wrong that don't think that she belongs there. She belongs there. From one Olympian to another, what kind of advice would you give her walking out onto the grandest stage like that? It's definitely a tall order. Yeah. Well, you know, when, you, when you're when you in the Olympics and you're training and, you, and then you're competing and it, it all becomes a blur, I told her to take it in. Yeah. Enjoy herself, relax, and have fun. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Enjoy tonight and best of luck this Sunday. Hopefully, hopefully it's a big win for you guys. All right, we're going to take it on back down to the other end of the red carpet with Charlie Caruso. Thank you, Renee. Joined here by Mr. Burn It Down himself, Seth Rollins, and his girlfriend, Sarah. Guys, welcome to the red carpet. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah. We're doing all right. It's, it's, we're close to WrestleMania. It's New Orleans. Everybody's, uh, the spirits are getting up, man. It's getting wild. How has New Orleans been treating you both? Been good, right? Yeah, good. A lot of good food. Ooh, maybe too much good food. <laughs> now, what have you been eating so far? I got to hear this. I know your diet's always on point. So what have you been doing to uh, treat yourself this week? She's been picking all the restaurants, so I just go along with it. I may or may not have had a dessert or two and a lot of coffee. But things, I can't divulge my, my mania diet. I don't want to give too much away. All right, so we won't divulge about your diet, but we do want to talk about WrestleMania. This Sunday, you have a chance to win the Intercontinental Championship, the only title you have not won so far, making you a Grand Slam champion. If you do win, how much pressure is on your shoulders right now? A lot of pressure, but I like it. That's kind of when I operate at my best. In WrestleMania, the lights are the brightest, and that's when I turn it on. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be in the ring with two top-class athletes, The Miz and Finn Balor, uh, and I think we're going to tear it up. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, like you said, two very strong competitors in both The Miz and Finn Balor. Who are you going after first? Uh, that's not the strategy. I know you've never been in a triple threat match, Charles, but you got to keep your eyes kind of all over the place. Plus, The Miz Taraj is going to be out there. You never know. So you got to keep your head on a swivel. That, that's, the, uh, that's the strategy. Now, WrestleMania full of so many special and amazing moments, especially for a guy like you. Four years ago, you cashed in your money in the bank briefcase and went on to win the WWE Championship. Talk about that memory for you and what it means looking back on that memory four years later. Uh, you know, it's really special. You know, it, it's one of those that kind of gets played in all the highlight packages, and it's hard to escape it. But, um, you know, it made Seth Rollins who he is. So I, I'm, I'm proud of that moment. Uh, some will call it sneaky, the heist of the century, however you want to put it. But for me, it's a very special moment. Very few men get to walk off the WrestleMania stage with the world title held over their head. And uh, I got to live that. And for me, that was a childhood dream. So uh, very fortunate to be able to have that. Amazing. Well, both of you enjoy your evening tonight, and best of luck to you on Sunday. I know everybody's pulling for you. Thank you very much.
All right, everyone, we are going to take a quick break, but we will be right back with more action from the red carpet. Cien Almas defends the NXT Championship against Aleister Black. NXT Sheen on Ember Moon battles Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. Former best friends turn bitter enemies. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa in an unsanctioned match. The stage is set. This is going to be awesome. This is NXT TakeOver. Ladies and gentlemen, the countdown is on just over 24 minutes away from the WWE Hall of Fame. And we continue to roll right here on the Red Carpet Show. And look who we have. The one and only, the Viper, the reigning United States Champion, Randy Orton and his lovely wife, Kim. Randy, you've been to quite a few of these Hall of Fames. I have, I have. I'm looking forward to this one. It's always a good time. And uh, it's just fun to hear what these guys have to say that you've looked up to your whole career. Wait, can I just tell you, I thought of you in rehearsal today because uh -oh. they've got super comfy chairs. Yes. Because <laughs> we know it's a long show. I, I feel like I've had, I've complained about the, <laughs> the metal chairs before. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> That, that's promising. I thought of you. I was like, oh, he's going to be super happy. <laughs> so when you look at this class, is, is there one particular superstar who you just cannot wait to see get inducted here tonight? You know, I'm, I'm curious to hear what the Dudleys have to say. I got to work with those guys. Uh, me, Bubba, and Devon go way back. Uh, very close, very good friends. Um, looking forward to hearing what Big Show has to say to induct Mark Henry and what M Mark Henry has to say. Jeff Jarrett, I mean, there's, there's really a great list of gals and guys that are going to be talking tonight and, and it's just it's nice to be here stress-free and get to sit back and, and enjoy the atmosphere so let me ask you about that I mean you know we're, we're two nights away from WrestleMania you're stress-free right now <laughs> does that change I mean do the nerves start kicking in uh, the nerves definitely start kicking in but I think the longer I've been doing it the more WrestleManias I've been a part of the the better I know how to deal with that stress and as long as you turn that 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 negative energy into positive energy in some way and you're focused when that red light's on, when your music hits and you walk through the curtain, uh, you're good to go. You just got to have confidence, believe in yourself, and the guys that are uh, helping you get the job done out there. How do you think Sunday's going to go? Do you feel like it's going to be tough? Are you preparing in a different way? Well, I don't have to be pinned to lose the United States Championship. So I think uh, instead of a singles match, it being a fatal four-way does make it a, a little more you know, uh, complicated as far as walking out, retaining my championship goes. Um, but I've worked with all these guys. I've fought all these guys uh, many times. Uh, and I think everyone's got a shot. But I think, uh, you know, everyone also knows I've been here the longest. I've done it the longest. Grand Slam champion. I'll retain at the Superdome. I'll be the U.S. champion come Tuesday night at SmackDown. But you don't sit back on that. you got to be prepping just as hard, if not harder, than you have in the past, right? Yeah, and I think for me, it's, uh, it's thank you, thank you, thank you for that. I, I think prepping, it's it's uh, it's definitely physical yeah. for everybody, but um, for me, the, the, the older I get, the longer I've been doing it, it's more of a mental thing. Okay. And as long as I'm mentally prepared, as long as I've got my beautiful wife here, and she can help me focus and relax, you know, when I need to relax. I'm, I'm good and I'm ready to go. I love it. You got a big role. Yes, I do. <laughs> Very big role. That's actually true. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Well, Randy, enjoy and relax tonight before WrestleMania. Enjoy the Hall of Fame ceremony. And of course, good luck to you, you got as you defend the United States Thank Championship. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good luck. All right, Renee Young, you're on deck. Hey, I'm here with the Intercontinental Champion and also brand new baby daddy, The Miz. And you're also here with the stars of Miz and Mrs. The hit oh. TV sensation on USA, my dad and my mom, George and Barb. Hi, guys. Welcome. Congratulations, grandparents now. Why don't you ask them what, what they want to be called? Oh, oh yeah. What is the name? What are you going to go by? Absolutely. Papa Giorgio. <laughs> my dad wants to be called Papa Giorgio. Like, <laughs> Sounds like grandpa, a pizza brand. Not Papa. Papa Giorgio. Do you have a preference? Uh, Gammy Barbie. Oh, you guys really went for it. They, they, yes. It's like they just can't be normal like grandpa, grandma. No. <laughs> Grammy Barbie and Papa Georgia. Gammy. Sorry, I even messed her name up. That's 
That's amazing. Well, congratulations. Thank Nonetheless, you. your daughter is a true delight. She's amazing. I had to leave her last night, and it was just, you had to pry her from my arms. I'm like, Maurice, just, you have to take her, and I just close my eyes and run out of the house. All right, well, you get to get back home to her ASAP, but this Sunday, giant matchup for you. Huge. Are you going to walk away with the Intercontinental Champion? This is probably the biggest match that I've ever had uh, in my entire career because the Intercontinental Championship is everything to me. It's been the title that I felt that I've made prestigious and relevant, and I have an opportunity. If I leave this match at WrestleMania, the Intercontinental Champion, I could become the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion of all time, beating everybody. No one will be able to call themselves the greatest because I will be marked the greatest. So some people could say that that would maybe make you a first ballot Hall of Famer, potentially, right? I think I'm already a first ballot Hall of Famer, to be completely honest. But if, when you put Seth Rollins and Finn Balor and The Miz in the same ring at the same time on the grandest stage of them all, there will be no match be able to follow it. No one will be able to follow that match. I don't think anybody could deny that. Who are you looking forward to seeing going to the Hall of Fame tonight? Uh, Mark Henry. Yeah. So I've actually, it's, it's, you know, whenever you wrestle a person and you've been in the ring with them and you know their talent, you know their ability, you know the hard work, and you've seen the hard work, you've been a part of the hard work, then see it paid off to go in the Hall of Fame, world's strongest man, it's incredible. Amazing. Well, congratulations again. Best of luck this Sunday and enjoy tonight. Charlie, you're up, girl. I have to say, I'm still cracking up at those grandparents' names that the Mrs. Parents want to go by. Amazing! Okay, and now I am joined here by one of the staples of the WWE Hall of Fame, Dana Warrior and her lovely daughters. Indiana and Madigan. Dana, I know this is such a special night for you, maybe one of the most special nights of the entire year. Now, tell me how it feels to be back here yet again at the WWE Hall of Fame. You know something, being at the Hall of Fame is really my favorite thing that I that I get to do all year long. Um, being here in New Orleans is a little bittersweet. The last time we were in this arena, my husband was being inducted as WWE Hall of Famer. So it's sort of a graduation for me, a full circle moment for the girls and myself. It's incredibly special, Charlie, but it's also, it, it, it's been a little bit tricky. It's it's something to think about and something to reflect upon, but I just feel so blessed because the WWE Universe has been so good to us. Uh, just welcomed us like a family and I, I, I love the people here. I love the people I work with. I love the fans. We have the best fans in the WWE universe of any other of any other industry, I believe. And I know that is a totally mutual feeling. Everyone appreciates you, everything you've done for the business. And I know that the Warrior Award is something everyone looks forward to each and every year. This year, JJ Robertson being inducted. Tell me about him and why you were he was chosen for the award. You know something? I think the fact that he's a hometown hero and he's overcome. He he has this really just incredibly frenetic energy, the way that my husband, you know, that shake the ropes in your own life mentality. And um, it, it's really special to have somebody that represents New Orleans. Uh, especially for us too because it's like it become a hometown for us so we're really excited about having JJ and we're excited because he loves WWE so very very much so it's wonderful well we were all waiting anxiously for that presentation and thank you so much and you know thank you for opening up and, and being here for everybody I know everyone appreciates it uh, well I, I I love it I love it all every one of you and thank you for having me all right, well now we need to throw things up to Byron and Maria who are joined by a very special first timer here at the WWE Hall of Fame. A first timer. This this is what you call an OMG moment in WWE. <laughs> Ronda Rousey on the verge of her very first match at WrestleMania, joined by her lovely husband Travis. Ronda, what is going through your mind? He is lovely, isn't he? He is lovely. Wait, yeah. can he I just blushing tell earlier. everyone? She has been so mushy gushy before we went on camera telling her <laughs> husband how handsome he is how he blushes amazing, everything is amazing, and it's so cool to see that other side of you, because, mm -hmm. you know, we all know you as this fighting machine. Well, you know, it's a side that he earned to be able to see in me, Aww. and he didn't even try. He just, like, put this together last second. I think he's, like, trying to hide the fact that he has amazing style and just doesn't own it. Yeah, you guys should own it. You look amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, how, how are you taking all of this in? I mean, I know this has been a, a lifelong dream of yours, but you were about to compete at WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, man, I, I don't really have words for it. They appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know, like, I didn't know everyone would be so amazing. <laughs> like, the fans here are absolutely, like, they touch my heart every day. And it's, um, 
it's, it's something to get used to. Like, I like all this, I don't know, acceptance. I wasn't expecting to be accepted till much later, and um, I'm trying everything in my power to deserve it. Well, you have taken such a humble approach coming into this universe, and I think that's why the fans are responding to it. You know, I wonder, how are you preparing for Sunday? I was watching uh, Monday Night Raw. I saw Stephanie talking about how this is her ring. She grew up here. This was... This is her comfort zone, and this is your first time. Does it intimidate you at all? Um, you know, I've had disadvantages in competition my whole life. You know, I've competed against um, people that have been on PEDs. I've competed against people who have had all of the advantages that I didn't. But um, those are just reasons to beat them in spite of those disadvantages. They're not excuses. They're motivation. Very nice. So there's a lot of people out there going, okay, what are we going to see from Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania? What is she going to yeah. bring to the equation? Can you give us like a sneak preview of what we might see from the rowdy one here? Are you volunteering? Oh, well, I know. I've seen what you've done to others, so I, just, just an honest, and, honest question from an innocent journalist. <laughs> we, can, we can use you as a little practice dummy. Why not? i got bad hips. Come know. on. <laughs> Travis, how... How excited are you to see her in that ring on Sunday? You know, it's uh, there's nothing like it. I mean, she deserves everything that you hear the fans and and knowing her in the way that I know her, she she really deserves all this and she works so hard. I mean, you know, I I thought I had a decent work ethic until you know we got together and then you, you just see all the hard work that she puts in and and the dedication and, and everything that she really gives to the sport. You know, it's really inspiring. Love it. You got a great partner in Kurt too. So Yeah, I looked out. He's he is absolutely amazing. I couldn't I couldn't have had a better partner for my first time out there and I have all the confidence in the world um, in the both of us together. Flanked by good guys. What can you say? Hey. All right, Rhonda, <laughs> enjoy tonight and good luck to you at WrestleMania. Thank you. We appreciate that. Guys, we got more from the red carpet live right here on the WWE Network. You're my best friend. I love you. I have Naya in the palm of my hand. She grew up her entire life this total loser, and if I'm being honest, she's just as dumb as she is big. It's redemption time for the irresistible force. I am the Raw Women's Champion. I deserve respect. Naya's making it perfectly clear what she wants, an opportunity at the Raw Women's title. Hey, we gonna celebrate, yeah, yeah, yeah. The minutes are winding down until we are live on the WWE Network with the WWE Hall of Fame and the atmosphere is amazing here tonight. We would expect no different in joining me now, a superstar we all know very well when it comes to WrestleMania, Baron Corbin and his wife, Rochelle. Hey, guys. Hello, hello. It's good to be here. And like you said, energy's crazy already. People are screaming, chanting. Uh, I mean, everybody's doing interviews. It's crazy. Well, I know you have some special WrestleMania moments. You we were just talking about it. Yeah. Two years ago, you walked away the winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial yeah. Battle Royal. This year, I know you're looking for a repeat win. Yeah, I'm looking to be the first two-time winner in history. Uh, I made history when I made that in my debut as an NXT superstar, walking away the champion. I plan on doing the same this year and making history again. And it is quite something that being the winner of, of this battle royal can do for a superstar's career. I mean, really just elevates you to that next level. Have you felt that in these past few years? It does. It, it definitely elevates you, and it's a great way for me. I look at it, you know, WrestleMania is the, the end of the year. It's our Super Bowl. But I look at it as a start. You know, how do I want to start my year? And I want to start it on that positive note of being the champion of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And I think that will propel me to a whole other level uh, to go into 2018 on fire. And what else then to inspire you to do so well on Sunday than tonight, the WWE Hall of Fame? I mean, so many inspirational superstars being inducted tonight. Who are you most excited to see go into the Hall of Fame? Uh, you know, I mean, I think it's all pretty awesome. And to be here with Jeff Jarrett, it's going to be awesome to see uh, Dudley boys. You know, I watched them as a kid growing up and just seeing them destroy table after table. And nothing makes me happier than throwing somebody through a table. So it's going to be pretty awesome to watch those guys uh, get up there and accept the rings. Well, can we wait to destroy the tables until Sunday? I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens tonight. You never know. Okay, okay, fair enough. 
All right, well, thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your evening. Best of luck to you on Sunday. And now, let's throw things over to our broadcast colleague, Renee Young. I have found quite the motley crew over here on the red carpet. Ron Simmons, JBL, Godfather. What kind of what kind of damage you guys going to do out here on the red carpet tonight? We're hoping there's a bar here somewhere. We're, we, 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 hey. We've been looking for one, and we can't find one. And lots of furniture to tear up. That's right. Okay. The APA yeah, is I'm, back I'm, in business. I'm just, I'm just uh, along for the ride, you yeah, know. No, no, no. We know what you're looking for. What are you, what are you looking for? We can't talk about well, that. Well, what state is it? All right, well. And time for another day. Uh, you guys here being at the WWE Hall of Fame, what does it mean for you to be here and see some of, the, some of your friends go into the WWE Hall of Fame when you've been there yourselves? Well, it's all special, you know. Well, I've had the privilege now, you know, of course, with the nation. I've watched Godfather go in, right? Then tonight, got Mark Henry going in. So, you know, it's like, hey, a proud uncle, you know? So, yeah, so it's, I'm looking forward to seeing that tonight. You know, to be there from the beginning when Mark came in and to watch him grow and, and develop into what he did and all of his, you know, accomplishments, it's just great to be here and be part of it, to see him go in. It's a, it's a big deal to me. Definitely. And JBL, come on, TikTok, when's it going to be your time? <laughs> that I don't know. I, I'm here to celebrate Mark Henry and the Dudley's going in. That's what I'm uh, happy about. And Jeff Jarrett, too. You know, I wrestled a lot with Jared when he was here in the mid-90s. Great guy. This is going to be a lot of fun tonight. Oh, I'm looking forward to another speech, too, and that one will be soon. Hey, okay? He, and look, that Godfather and I both are going to do his speech. <laughs> I'm going to tell some stories about this one, some real stories, what? some true I would, stories. I cannot wait to hear those. Enjoy tonight, guys. Cannot wait to hear those stories in the future. We're going to head on back down to Charlie Cruz. So. Most, most training. All right. I am here with a very special guest on the red carpet. Wow, one year later, after being inducted into the Hall of Fame yourself, Beth Phoenix. She, oh, oh, I just found out that you are calling the Women's Battle Royal on Sunday. I am. I'm totally, I have this opportunity to, to be a part of WrestleMania again. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. And to be a part of history, the first ever Women's Battle Royal at WrestleMania. It's incredible. You know, from seeing you inducted last year here at the Hall of Fame and just seeing in this past year where the women's evolution has gone, I mean, it is just insane the opportunities these women are, are being given today. Yeah, I mean, we've been saying it all day. I feel like this WrestleMania is for the women, for the ladies. This is the culmination of all the hard work everybody's been putting in. We've got two championship matches. We have a mixed tag match. We have a battle royal. There's more women on the show than there's ever been before, and I'm just so excited to be a part of it. It's going to be incredible. Now, we would have asked you a year ago if you would have expected all of this to be happening. What would you have said? Absolutely. We have not only expected it, we've been waiting for it. The WWE Universe has been waiting for it. I'm so happy to be here. I can't believe a year has gone by since I was standing right up there. It's just flown, and I'm so proud of everybody and, and the place that we are right now. All right, well, you look gorgeous, and I hope you enjoy your evening and enjoy this entire weekend. I cannot wait. I love WrestleMania. It was nice talking to you, Charlie. Yeah, thank you. All right, everyone, it's time to throw things over to Byron and Maria for more. Okay, so earlier I said Ronda Rousey was an OMG moment, but this right here is, like, surreal on so many different levels. We're joined by Daniel Bryan, his lovely wife, Brie Bella. Uh, Daniel, yes! Daniel, has it set in? <laughs> like, a month ago, you were just the general manager of SmackDown Live, and now you are on the verge of returning at WrestleMania. Yeah, it's, it's really surreal, because especially in this building where WrestleMania 30 happened, uh, which was the highlight of my career, but it's different because that felt like something that this uh, career accomplishment, coming back and being able to fight through that feels like a very personal accomplishment. And uh, I'm very lucky to have this one by my side because she's, she's the one who pushed me, so. They left the little one at home for the first time alone, oh, right? Go, yeah. Oh my Don't gosh. even bring it up or we're gonna start crying. <laughs> I know, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but congratulations. Like what a feat and we were just chatting earlier about how dedicated you were and how you wouldn't take no for an answer. And it's it's such an emotional thing for all of us to see you come back. It's so exciting. We're so happy for you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's actually gonna be really weird when I come out and just like go down the ramp in underwear, yeah. right? Like it's like, I've been coming out in pants, like fully clothed for a yeah. long time. And I'm just going out there in my in my spandex battle jammies and, yeah. and we're gonna see how it goes. It's time to get back in it's the time, Yeah, it's time to get back in those things, so. <laughs> Yeah. Is he in prime form? He actually is. The other day he was trying on his stuff for this weekend and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, Brian, you look insane right now. <laughs> 
He's been waiting for this day I have for a been. very long time. So yes. Great. We all have, but you definitely have. Definitely have. Yeah, yeah. It'll be interesting, too, to see, uh, like, the energy that I have when I'm in there. I felt like uh, when I got attacked by Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens earlier, when they attacked me, like, it literally, like, lit this fire. And yeah. like I'm starting to, the closer it gets, the more I'm feeling it, and it's like, ah. Uh, I'm feeling uh, yeah, it right yeah, yeah. over here. It's so exciting. <laughs> so, it's gonna be great. We're Daniel, uh, best of luck. I feel like we're on the verge of Yeslemania 